down by the dust right now. Kind of casual today. They got uh, members of uh, IHS, I believe, here. Excellent. <laughs> about time to have someone with them.
So what? Wait, did this even give us 24 hours? How's it going? Well, it looks like they're uh, taking names down, at least this time or the last time they were here. And they asked if you wanted help, you'd say yes, and they just say, well, you don't qualify and didn't even know your name. <laughs> Hopefully they're uh, trying to do something now. If they are, it'd be uh, uh, because of the embarrassment about what happened with Tony. There uh, several times in three weeks in trying nobody would help her. But we got her off the streets. We got confirmation just uh, yesterday, actually. <laughs> so, uh, she's doing pretty good. It's good to hear. Pretty calm, casual day here. This is just a tagging raid where they're giving notices to everyone and uh, everything that's sitting around. <laughs> just to let you know that they'll be back at uh, uh, one to two days from now. Usually, they have to be. They have to give you at least 24 hours notice, and uh, they'll be back to. Uh, try to confiscate your stuff. We've gone through like, what is it, 26, 27 of these tagging raids and actual raids. We've done like 23 of them, if I remember correctly. So here in the next day or two, we'll be on raid 24. <laughs> so, we'll see what happens. Now, we have individuals in the park as you see with a chair and their dog and see how quick they talk to this person oh see that's a problem right they don't like that stuff sitting there you just saw Trish walk up Ask that gentleman with a dog if that was his stuff. So if that stuff that they're standing at now was his, they'd walk away and leave it alone. But because it's not, well, let, let's tag it. See, that's that's what we're seeing a lot of here. Subject, subjectional. They're only after certain people. If you're houseless or uh, part of Occupy Honolulu, 
they pick you up. What makes this different from the chairs? Well, I think uh, a warning is a warning regardless, right? Just maybe this person wants to move their stuff. Say so what? Okay, well, I say I'm moving my stuff up there. What do you mean? I do all the time. That's why I don't take my stuff. The only thing you ever got was bullhorn. I got that back. You guys understand what just happened, right? They were uh, tagging stuff, right? Well, no, they're tagging stuff, but did you notice how the individual there with items left in the park yeah. didn't even get talked to? And I asked them about it, and they said, well, that's because he'll move the stuff. I was like, well, maybe the person that has that will move their stuff. Well, yeah. we don't know. I was like, well, then I say I moved my stuff up there. So why are you tagging me? Well, we know you're not. How do you know that? Because uh -huh. you never have my stuff. I move it all the time. <laughs> They're only targeting the houses. The last person they we tried to get help took three weeks and a rape and two beatings before uh, anybody do nothing. That was us. I got them off the street, not them. Giving a warning to this guy. This stuff looks all mobile. So what's the difference? got media here even after I tried talking to them they don't care they know what's going on It's because they say the people up there is of importance, and uh, so they pick them out 
along with the houseless community, just like uh, what you saw at KL, Wai'anae, and what they're doing, pushing all those people out, yeah. that's still of importance. And the reason why you don't have as many, especially comparative, like in KL, where there was over 200 people evicted out, they bulldozed their stuff, evicted them out, kicked their kids out of school, <laughs> made them remove, and didn't have a single individual that actually tried to offer some real help. There was a couple people that they talked to, but everybody still was on the streets. You know, the only people that got help was from uh, the ladies of Kiao, the church. Uh -huh. They came out and helped, like, I, I don't want to misquote or anybody or offend them. I believe it was, like, uh, 10 of them or something like that uh -huh. out of 200 and something. Yeah. You know, I'm not saying that they didn't help them. They did something for someone. So all the police are here because they're... They're here. Because they're, they're... Right. Regular civilians it, and not yeah, they're going after them. And then, um, but see, like you notice, the individual there with his dog and the chairs... Yeah. Walked up to him, sir, is that yours? Well, yeah, oh, okay. And walked away. And then went right to the stuff that's sitting there. And I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. What makes that stuff different from those chairs? And he said, well, because that gentleman says that they'll move it. Well, I say I'll move my stuff up there. Oh, are you, are you, so you're I, part I'm, of this? Uh, yeah, my name is Chris Smith. I'm with Neighborhood Board 10. Oh, I'm in And I'm with uh, Occupy Honolulu. Okay. And uh, so I'm like, well, what makes the difference? I move my stuff every time. They're like, well, we know you're not. I was like, wait, you don't take my stuff. The tents change and everything changes. Yeah, we I was move, reading about that in the paper. We move, we move everything. So if you know we move ours, but you're going to give us a warning, you don't know that guy from Jack because they've been dealing with us for almost seven months. We're the longest running encampment in the world. Mm -hmm. yeah, they don't know that. you there for quite some time. Right. And then these guys, they don't know them from Jack, but I'm not going to give them a warning. I'm going to give this stuff over there a warning, I'm going to give them a warning, and I'm going to go to this gentleman, that's obviously down on his luck, and harass him by giving him a warning. So that way, just like the last lady, it was three weeks of this lady going in and out of the hospital, me personally taking her to different shelters, trying to get the city to help her. She ended up getting beaten down twice in the three weeks. She got sexually assaulted. Uh, Where being just by being out? By being out, she yeah she she got great. Yeah. And then um she uh with that the uh, city and Trish personally I went up to her, I went up to all of them I went straight to city officials. This lady needs help. She had physical and mental needs. They already knew of her, even knew her name. Wasn't wanting to help her. Didn't do nothing. It was us that got her off the street, just like the other hundred and two people before her that we got off the street. Well, but they'll tag us. And chase after us because we keep making them look bad. Well, it's a problem they don't. <laughs> they're not able to deal with. Right. And you know. Well, they don't want out to. There, you're being visible and right. blocking the sidewalks, and so. Well, you know the so reason if why. If you're doing some good things and helping people who truly are homeless, I give you great credit for that. Well, yeah. I mean, well, we feed, we feed, we give shelter. You know, we try and get them off the streets, but that's not. You know, that's not the thing. It's. We think that looks ugly ourselves. They should yeah. be there. It, this is Hawaii. You shouldn't have any of that. You shouldn't have what goes on in Waianae or whatever. And I don't know. I haven't been up there for a long time because of it. But you know, it's all along the road. Oh yeah, actually, you, so. you shouldn't have any of that. But, you, but see, that's the, that's the problem. Because they keep booting everybody around, they think the problem's getting solved. It's just and that's why we've been sitting there. It's all on the right. Side, so we don't all have to look at right. it. Right. Yeah. So when they see that little camp, and they're like. And it's much nicer and cleaner than what you got anywhere else going on in this on the island, right? So when they see that and they ask, why aren't they leaving? Because we keep beating them at their own laws and show that they can. <laughs> well, it's been interesting talking yep. to you. You have a good one. Well, that's good. A little bit of a supporter there. They're even going across the street and chasing people down. This is horrible. Alright guys. I'm going to shut this off. It's been real.